Hello everyone, welcome to your spiritual liaison 123, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself, live your absolute best life, and make sure that you get an amazing laugh on every single day. Hello, my wonderful Pisces. Hello, my amazing cross watchers. Sending you so much positive love and attention. I hope you can hear me fine. I have the microphone just a little bit closer. Um, I just always notice it's, a, it's an echo if I have it too close. <laughs> so anyway, so let's go ahead and get started with this reading. Um, we're in the waxing crescent moon. Today is October the 10th depending on where you are in the world. Um, and the moon is in Sagittarius right now. And so you could be searching for the truth about something um, in order to feel safe or to have like you have some sort of mission you're on. Um, you could be asking yourself like, what's the meaning of life? What is the meaning of your life? Um, what were you supposed to learn in these life lessons or something? And that's not going to apply to everyone. And um, you're just kind of feeling like you want to see things get better. So we're going to go ahead and move forward. Today I will be using the Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot deck. <laughs> And so I'm going to change this up a little bit. Um, I think with some of the other readings, I'm waiting for my stuff to come. Like it's taking forever to come. It was supposed to have been a part of this order, but they separated it. So it's supposed to, it's supposed to be here um, this week. So anyway, all right. So let's see what this reading is going to be about. I'm so happy to use these cards, Pisces. The first card out is the strength card. So isn't that funny? <laughs> you could be feeling so strong and powerful right now um, in your life. You're feeling good about yourself. You have taken the time. It's like you feel like you have the heart to get done what you need to get done. Um, you could have overcome a lot. People could have saw you overcome a lot and still staying strong, still staying within your power. And I don't get the energy that you abuse your power, though, Pisces. It's like you know your power, but you're careful in how you use it, which is very smart. And then we have what well, on this card, it says the Ten of Potions, but it's the Ten of Cups, right? And so with the Ten of Cups, you could be feeling like, you know, you're just, feel, you're, you're happy trying to have that family life, um, you know, see things grow in your life or something. You want to see things like you're, you want to get to that point where you're not only being strong, but you're happy and you're giving, it looks like you're giving your heart to someone or either they're giving their love to you. Pisces, like somebody is seeing you as family material, the type that they could settle down with, somebody who they can um, have longevity with or something. The type who they can be happy with. They may respect your strength and your tenacity your resilience. Um, you could have gone through a lot, but you're not bitter. It's like you're not bitter, you're better. And they that kind of made them, it got their attention. And they like that about you, Pisces. They really do like that. The two of needles, which is considered the two of swords. And so you could have been sort of indecisive and had to, in, about things in life. And you had to learn to start putting yourself first. Stop making so many self-sacrificing um, decisions for other people. Or like you're at some sort of crossroad in your life. You could want to get more information about something. You want some more information to come in so you can make a better decision. So maybe you're trying to get information about this person 
um, so you can make a better a, a, a decision. You may feel like you don't have all the details that you need or something in this situation. The magician, so you feel like you don't have all the details that you need and you feel you want to know that this person isn't playing mind games with you, that they're not um, sort of like, you know, playing a bunch of games. They, they have, a, it looks like this person has the potential to get something like to grow this relationship, grow this connection between you all and create a beautiful family. But you just want to make sure that they're not playing a bunch of games because you work too hard. It's like you've been hurt in the past before with relationships or a relationship or a marriage not working out. So you definitely want to see, you want to know before you go ahead first and, and have this family connection, you want to make sure that this person isn't like being manipulative or something towards you. Um, they're not manipulating you in any way. Then we have the Ten of Swords. I mean, I'm sorry, the Ten of Wands, which is on here, like the Ten of Candles. I love these cards. They, I can't wait. I, I like. I'm doing a Halloween thing, and I'm, I, I'm trying to think. Do I even want to do it live? Um, I love these cards, so I can like do it in my costume or something. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. Then we have the Seven of. The seven, so this is the seven, it says seven of presents on here, but it's the seven, it represents the seven of pentacles. And so um, Pisces, you could be putting, you could have put a lot of work into this and things are moving slow or this person feel like they are going out of their way to show you how much they love you and to try, they, they sort of like, it's like, they're showing you how much they care. They're showing you how nurturing they can be. They sh they're showing you that they are invested and they do want to see a family life with you. They know that you have had to be strong through a lot. You've had to survive a lot and that you're at a crossroads and don't quite know what to do because you're when you put other people first you felt like that they betrayed you or took you for granted or something and they know that you're sort of like hesitant on how fast you move with people now just because you've been manipulated in the past or something like that and this person is showing you that they have all the tools that they need to make this life work um to make you happy to make things you know move forward with you or something um yeah and then it's like you've been burned before pisces so you're very hesitant but this person looks like it. I just get the energy that they're the real deal. They are the real deal. It's not a bunch of games with this person. Um, they know you've been through a lot of conflict. They know your past, like you could have shared with them, like what your ex did to you or what your, you know, family has done to you or things like that in the past. And so they know that you've endured a lot. And then we have the seven of needles, which is considered the seven of swords. So they know that you've experienced a lot of heartache and pain and you have trust issues. It's hard for you to trust people now. Um, so you don't let you don't quite let people get too close to you because you feel like all they're going to do is is play games and hurt you or something like that. And so this person is somebody who you sort of kind of like let your guard down with. Um, but it's just like you feel you're you're kind of scared though, Pisces. Oh, you're kind of you're kind of like you just don't want to get hurt again, and you're being very cautious and rightfully so. If you've been hurt over and over again, your love has been taken for granted. You were lied to or lied on or something. Then I completely understand you being hesitant about moving forward with something something that you know you're taking your time. The next card out is the Ace. Of presence, which is like the ace of pentacles. Beautiful Pisces. So this person is like, I want to give you love. I want to give you, you know, hope in the future that, and, and I just, that security to know that things are going to work out beautifully between us. Just give me a chance. With the three of swords, you're so guarded Pisces. Um, you're so guarded because you've been hurt. You've been stabbed through the heart. 
you know, could have been by three different ex. You've been, you know, just one relationship, one failed relationship after the other. The pain, the hurt, the anguish that you've experienced. You're just like, I can't take it anymore. So I just, you know, you could have, like I said, this is why it seems like you were just being very strong. Like you, you had to find your strength to sort of like um, move on. So you could have taken like sort of a, a hiatus or you know, something or like a... Um, a sabbatical from love or you know like you're like i'll get back to it when i get to it or something like that but it wasn't your main priority you just you focused on something else bringing like healing your heart forgiveness like you were healing your heart from these heartaches and forgiveness or i mean you know forgiving um yourself for being in certain situations that you feel like you you could have felt like you allowed certain things to go on far too long um, when all the red flags were there. Okay. And hold on, let me move these up just a little bit. I love you guys. Just want to, and, and someone emailed me and I wanted to say thank you and start, sorry for interrupting this reading like that, but somebody emailed me and told me that they love the fact that I always say, I love you because they never hear from anywhere else. And that touched my heart so deeply, so dearly. I literally like a, I, I shed a tear when I heard that because I was just like, wow, I never even thought that. I never thought that. So again, Pisces, I just get the energy um, and I'm so glad that I was able to, you know, that I, I do things that, that come natural to me in these readings Um or I say things that come natural to me in these readings because I never know how it's going to affect someone. And that was just, I, I thank you so much for giving me that, e for sending me that email and just letting me know that, you know, you me telling you that, you know, I, I love you guys. I love you all. It matters. I love that. Anyway, so let's move forward. It looks like that this person know that you're trying to heal from some sort of heartbreak, that you've gone through a lot. You've experienced a lot of pain um, and suffering or something. And they, they want to, they, they're like, baby, I'm the gift. I'm <laughs> like, like I am the gift. You know, um, they know you're moving very slow and this person has, they feel like they've invested a lot into this relationship and they feel like it's sort of moving slow and they're wondering, are you ever going to quite let down your guards and just accept them? Cause they do want to see if that they want to have that longevity with you, that family life with you, Pisces, but they feel, but you're, you're worried that they're going to hurt you and play games like people in the past have done. So you you're just kind of like, you know what I've been, I can't even, it's hard for you to trust now. It's hard for you to get over, like completely get over something. Um, and then we have the nine of, of, of pentacles. And so I love it, Pisces. This person is going to eventually, you're eventually going to let your guards down. You're going to stop being so, um, their, their, their dream of having you as a wife or a husband is going to come true. You're eventually going to let your guards down and be there, be a part of this. Let this person be a part of your life the way that they really want to. Um, oh, the will of fortune. How beautiful. You all are going to move forward right into prosperity and abundance. I love that, Pisces. How simply amazing, like you all are going to just move forward um, into things. And I just said that, that you are eventually are going to let down your guards and let this person be a part of your life. And you're going to let them love you the way you deserve to be loved. It's like that. It's like you went through all of this. It's like you went through all of this, this right here. So you can get this so you can get this you know you have the the nine of, of, of pentacles you have the will of fortune and you have the um the ten of cups yeah so you're going to have a beautiful family life with this person um longevity marriage happiness joy possibly even children um, how amazing Pisces. They just want to be, they're like, look, baby, I'm the gift. 
I am the gift. Know that. I'm, I'm here to make you happy. They want to see a smile on your face, Pisces. They want you. They want to love you. Um, they just want you to let them love you. You should let me love you. Let me be the one who. <laughs> I love you. Yes, Pisces. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Um, so in the process, you you because you've healed from a lot of stuff, um, and you've tried to work through a lot in your life, and you're you're just you know getting to that point, Pisces, where you just want to see yourself happy again. You do want to let this person love you, and eventually you will. You'll let them love. You're going to let them love you the way that they want to, um, and you're going to be very happy about that. Flip side to that is. Whoever these people were who broke your heart in the past, they're watching. They are watching. Um, with this, with this, the nine of of swords here, which is it's the nine of needles on here. That's so cute. Eh? <laughs> but anyway, this person is just like this. These people from your past. You've had to go through a lot of you like you're you're healing from you explain to this person like I, these are the kind of people I had to deal with whole clowns. Whole circus clowns, you know, um, who put on a show for everybody, but but wasn't sincere about the love that they were supposed to have been giving to me. So you're explaining to this person why, why you are so hesitant to get into something or let down your guards completely or something. And they understand that, Pisces. They know that you have been hurt. You've been damaged. Um, you have It has taken you time to heal. Uh, so you, you're, like I said, you went on a sabbatical from, from relationships. You're like, I'll, shoot, I'll be back. Uh, you know, I'll deal with love when I get it, when I finish taking this vacation. I'm gonna take a nice, you know, sabbatical from this this uh, relationship thing, this love thing. And so you said I'll get back to it when I get back to it. You know, you didn't you didn't put a timeline on how long you would you were gonna take. You just took the time you needed to heal from this broken heart and from these circus clowns. You took the time that you needed to heal from this, from this kind of stuff, right? And so, you know, you had to be strong because you didn't know how to be anything else. After after being in this energy of feeling powerless, you know, and, and weak and defeated. Now you're here again. So it's like a beautiful thing. So spirit, I'm going to pull one of these beautiful love oracle deck cards. And it's going to answer the question about your person. Um, okay. Or something about you. But I want to put this in the energy of your person. Something about them. I love the way that these cards are shaped in a heart. Um, something about your person. Okay. Right, let me see. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> I love it. So this is this is the card. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. Um, and, it, and it says, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. The new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. If that doesn't sum up this reading, I don't know what does. Pisces, your, per, your person is telling you, this is behind you now. This is, we, I, I, they, deal with, they dealt with clowns too. They dealt with clowns. They know what heartache feel like. They've dealt with that kind of stuff in their own past too. Um, but they're telling you the past is behind you. It's time to release it and embrace the new possibilities between us, what we could have. And, you know, it's available. I'm here. I'm right here, baby. So, you know, let me love you and, um, and have faith that things are going to turn out wonderful between us. 
And so this person, the energy I get, Pisces, this person is all about you. They're all about making you happy. They don't care about the rumors. They don't care about, you know, all of the nonsense about, you know, the past, what they've gone through, what you've gone through. They just want to love you right now. They want to make you happy. They want to have that family life with you. And they are, they are not playing games. They're not. They're not for the you know, going through, because they feel like their time is valuable. Um, So they don't want to waste your time and they don't want to waste theirs. And I, I am all for that. And that is a beautiful thing. So that is the end of the reading, Pisces. I love you guys. I'm sending you so much positive energy. I'm praying that you all are just doing simply amazing in your life. Um, I'm going to upload some other readings today and I wish my other cards would have came in I ordered like numerous cards but they they separated the um the order but anyway so when they when those come in, I'll be able to break those in with you all too um anybody who is waiting for a reading I mean I'm sorry anybody who is like I'm, I'll be answering the questions the rest of the questions within the next two days so um and then I'm going to stop answering questions for a while and then I'll let you all know when I go back to doing it um so I'm not accepting any more um questions at this current time because I'm gonna just finish up what I already have if you have emailed me and you have not gotten a response yet just give me time um, and I will respond to um, all of the emails that I am receiving I just get a lot of emails and so I have to respond to them one by one and I try to respond to about four or five of them within the same day um, sometimes more than that it just depends but anyway so Again, drop a comment in the comment section. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Show me some love on here. And let me know if you have met somebody who's been trying to do everything right by you and tell you, you know, like, let it's time to let the past go and let me love you and show you that I am not who those people, like, I'm not them. Um, I'm not playing. I have no intention on doing you dirty. Like, I want to protect you. I want to love you. I want to provide for you. Um, I want to nurture you. And so um, I don't want to do to you what they did to you. Like, I don't want to do that. So if you have somebody like that in your life and they're telling you to please just like let the past go, it's it's over with. Um, just let me, you know, give me a fair chance and have faith that things are going to move forward with us in a beautiful way, right? Look at all of these hearts coming from these like angel wings. So, you know, and then all of that light, you know, so just a beautiful thing in rainbows. And so this is how they see you, Pisces. Um, they know that you all can have a beautiful connection and union. And um, if you just, if you have faith and let them love you. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the reading. Make sure that you hydrate. Make sure you get your, make sure you hydrate, make sure you get your walks and some fresh air and um, I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. All right.